Hi guys, uh, Sharath here. So in the last video, I showed you how to use one of my themes uh, called Thunder. Um, in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to insert a subscribe form uh, in your Jekyll website. So, uh, which would look like uh, uh, something like like this. So here uh, you can uh, you know insert your uh, email and uh, hit subscribe. Uh, so this works with uh, Mailchimp, uh, which is which helps, uh, which is a service which helps collect emails, and it has a lot of options. So I'll show you how to do this uh, on this blog, which we created in uh, one of my videos. So if you wanna see how we did it, uh, how I created this blog. Uh, go back to one of those videos and uh, watch it. I'll leave the link in the description. So we will have it in uh, maybe or we will create a new uh, page in this blog and uh, uh, call it uh, call it contact um, and insert that uh, subscribe form in it. Uh, first of all, uh, you have to uh, sign up with uh, MailChimp. So I'm going to sign up right away. So it's free um, uh, until some limit. I think it's uh, until you reach thousand subscribers, uh, but I'm not really sure. I'm going to use uh, one of my emails uh, with one trick uh, plus Mailchimp. So you can use anything after the plus when you're using Gmail. Uh, that's going to work. So uh, username. Uh, that should work. Password, something. And uh, they need one uppercase character. Okay. Okay. So let's get started. Mm, I think they're gonna send a mail. Okay. And I have to activate it. So this is the email account. Okay, I, re I just received it. Um, I have activated it. This should work. Are you human? Okay, I am. Hmm. Okay. That was quick. Okay. So let's fill up something. Sure. Shit. Hmm. That's my name. A business something cool website cool.com address of and uh, no, I, I'll use uh, some fake address maybe. Mm. I'll use mine. Mm. I'll use mine. That should work. Okay, business sell anything online? Yes, no. I'm not selling anything. Okay, I will connect. Mm. No, let's go. Okay, so this is what you should see once you once you log in. Um, so here you have to create a, a form. So before that, you may have to create a list. Um, it's asking for a. Hmm. Let's create a list first. Um, I'm gonna create a list with the name um, MRR subscribers because uh, we are doing it on MRR. So. Uh, from email address, um, something that, okay, so, shout out that, emerald.com, or, or something like that, from name, emerald, your uh, company name, or your website name would do, uh, fill out all these things, I don't think phone's necessary, uh, I need one by one notification on every subscription, and on subscription, uh, something. Save. 
so that should work I we have a we have a list uh, sign up forms from email I'll use something uh, mm, something to nine okay Gmail for you I'll take the risk okay mm -hmm. okay so I think the list is done sign up forms so this is important so I want embedded forms uh, this embedded form has email first name and last name I'm going to use all of it or I can use you know just email if I want to by clicking on only show required so I'll just get the email one but I want all mm. I'll get uh, um, hmm. no I'll get the classic one now you can choose the themes here so this is the one you have to copy so this is the whole code that you should copy and paste in your uh, uh, in your website so I'm gonna go back to my emerald repository the repository of this blog it's here so as I said I'm going to create a new page Mm, core contact so like about uh, similar to about I'm going to create one more uh, file one more page mm, car contact dot md that's marked on I need uh, YAML front matter uh, you should mention which layout it should use I'm using page layout if you want a permalink no formal and necessary title title is important mm. contact and in the front matter now uh, contact me using the form okay just paste it so the whole form thing so you don't have to worry about the style and everything because it is gonna download its own style uh, most of it from uh, CDN uh, so you don't really have to worry about it I'm gonna commit it mm. it's uh, it's here so just let me check whether it has come up here it has let's see what it shows so yeah here it is so this is how the form will look like uh, it is the same one that we saw in uh, MailChimp. So I'm gonna enter an email, maybe my own. Um, yes, dot u72. You can add a dot in between uh, your Gmail uh, username. Uh, nothing happens. So gmail.com, first name Sharath. Uh, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, that's what I meant. Kumar and uh, subscribe so it says uh, hmm, confirmation required so I'll come back to the email so let's wait whether the mail will come up here or not uh, it should actually but uh, it might take a while because uh, the mail has to I mean the subscription entry has to reach uh, MailChimp and uh, an email should come from their uh, server so that could take time so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause here and wait for the uh, wait for the email so just after some not even minutes just after some seconds I got the email um, which says me because it came from me so if you look at it uh, yeah it, two it is sent to this which is my email and that is from me so that is why it is saying me so I have to click on yes so this is what your users do um, your subscribers do they have to verify it that they are not robots so once a user or a, your viewer 
uh, subscribes to you and verifies like this uh, you should get that updated in your list so now it is zero subscribers let's refresh if I get one in there no okay let's go inside and see hmm interesting that should show a subscriber but probably even for this I have to wait uh, okay so did I complete it oh forgot to click that nice now come back okay guys after waiting for a while I got this uh, one subscribers um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it and see who subscribed oh my god somebody called me subscribe okay that's how it works so someone has to you know enter your farm and uh, verify uh, once they get an email and uh, you get a subscriber and then you can uh, send them you know campaigns campaigns in the sense you know every time you make a new make new or post new stuff on your blog you can make a different you know you can make a campaign and tell them what it is and send an email to the whole list of subscribers or selected subscribers uh, you can design them so yeah I got a subscriber and this is how um, you add a subscribe form to your Jekyll blog or Jekyll website so thanks thanks for uh, watching the video and uh, hit like if you liked it bye